The release today was more than a week in the making. I'm told if the two bald eagles wouldn't have been found, they could have starved. He's a little jumpy. More than a week after a life-saving rescue, two Alabama bald eagles are ready for the world. We could have muddy and muddier because <laughs> one was a little muddier than the other. The Environmental Study Center was the first to get a call about the birds near Mud Lake covered from the top of the head down to the tips of their talons. The mud left them unable to fly just after Christmas. Biologists believe the birds got into a fight over territory mid-flight and landed in the mud. It took several baths to get the mud off of them. Fluids were given, a second exam was given, they were totally fine. With a clean bill of health and nine days of rehab in northwest Florida. Do we need an eagle calling in the background? Biologist Susan Clement from the Environmental Study Center sent the first bird on its way at Five Rivers Delta Center. So I'm going to go ahead and open and after a few short moments, the eagle soared into the sky, a moment that moved Clement, who's been an animal rehabilitator for more than 30 years. It was very emotional. Wow, that was very impressive. Then it was time for bald eagle number two. All right, so he's facing backwards also. After some gentle nudging, the bird also took flight. For volunteers and team members of the Environmental Studies Center, this moment watching two of America's pride and joy return to the sky is unforgettable. Get them to come back here and release in their local area, it's a very, it's a highlight, it really is. Heading back to Mud Lake, just stay out of the mud. For Clement, releases like this make her job so special, especially ones involving bald eagles. This is my personal first release. It's also the first release for the Environmental Center. Heck, just doing one, you know, is amazing. This release today was in partnership with the Wildlife Sanctuary of Northwest Florida. And I have to tell you, just watching the two birds take flight today, just absolutely amazing. We're live in Baldwin County tonight. Tyler Fingert, Fox 10 News.